a mental assassin. Justin, we won! Sorry, I'm not psychic. I have no supernatural abilities. But this night is not about me, it is about you. I need four volunteers. I'm gonna give you specific things to think of. Let's start with um, you, sir. Okay, so I want you to think of an object. Okay, any object will do. And don't tell me whatever this object is. And a look, I want you to think of someone close to you. Okay, think of this person's name. Alright? Think of this person's name. And with you, ma'am, I want you to think of an image that you can draw. Let's think of this uh, object over and over again. Good, this is huge, yes? Yes, um, huge object. You're looking down to it's like um, this is some sort of a vehicle, yes? Yes, yes okay, good. Think, imagine that you are riding this object. Alright. Hold this for me, please. Don't show it to them yet. But when I say show it to them, you're gonna do since this is a game show, you're gonna do a little dance. Alright? Alright? Fun, right? Alright, right. For the first one loud and clear on the mic, what is the word? Go, tell us. Motorcycle. Motorcycle. Please show it to them. Yes! Thank you very much, sir. This is a little more difficult for me because I'm thinking of a person's name, right? Good. So, I want you to think, this, think of this person's name over and over again. Alright, good? I'm guessing this person is a male, yes? Yes, alright, good. Um, think of your relationship with this person. Oh, very, very close with respect, right? You respect this person. A little bit, a little bit, okay. You respect this person, so you, are, you may be thinking of your... Okay, don't, if you know this person, don't tell me, but are you thinking of your boss? Yes! Think of your boss's name. Alright. Imagine this person walking towards you and saying, Hi, I am. Alright. Who is your boss? Mark. Mark, you told them? Yes! Thank you very much! Nice to meet you! Yes! This time, ma'am, we are thinking of an image that you can draw, right? Alright, interesting. This is an object, right? Now we're gonna turn back to back, and when I count to three, we're gonna draw whatever that image is, alright? Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Are you done? Yeah, okay. So let's face the audience. <laughs> One, two, three. Yes! Thank you very, very much! Yes! As you guys seen earlier, my biggest weapon or my most important weapon are my eyes. Right? Because without my eyes, I cannot observe. So, here's the challenge. I'm gonna cover up my eyes. Not just with this ordinary blindfold, but with this duct tape. Okay? So your job is, you're gonna put duct tapes all over my face until I cannot see. There you go. Okay, okay, but please blindfold me so that you're sure that I cannot see even though there's duct tape all over my face, okay? So my, so my nose are still hurting a little bit. One, two, three, and... Bl ouch! <laughs> Now, here's your job. Here's your job. Here's what we're gonna do. I need you to get three random objects from the audience. Am I correct in saying that you're holding a blue confetti? Yes, thank you very much. Let's give you a big hand. Next, I took a tap in the audience already. Go. One last thing. I need you to get any paper bill from the audience. Okay. Now, based on my knowledge with money, I know for a fact that serial number starts with letters. Am I correct? Yes, good. Now think of the first letter and immediately, if I'm correct, say yes, immediately focus on the second letter. Okay, are you ready? Uh, yes. Yep. Are you thinking of the letter A? Yes. Yep. Z? Yes. Yep. Am I correct? Yes. Good. One? Yes. Six? Yes. Two? Yes. Nine? Yes. Eight? Yes. Three? Yes. Six? Yes. Eight? Yes. Thank you very much. Let's give her a big hand.
and I'm not sure, I'm not that it, but don't tell me, but can you see the denomination? Think of it. Is it 20? From New Zealand. Yes, yeah, thank you very much, Giver of Big Hand. Thank you, you may sit back at Giver of Big Hand. Good. 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 Can you hear that? Good. Can you hear that sound? That is a sound of unity, right? Even though we're from different countries, even though we're from different nations, even though we have different races, but we have one sound. Okay? One, two, three, go! All right, now we're one. I'm gonna call out some volunteers again. So I have four envelopes here, numbered from one to five, okay? So I'm going to ask someone to shuffle these envelopes up. Right. So I have five envelopes here, and you are four people, so I'm gonna be the last person, right? All you have to do is think of a number between one and five. Let's start with you, sir, right? Just mention any number from one to five now. Go. Two, why two? All right, then I give you two, right? Don't open yet. How about you, ma'am? Mention any number from one to five. One, why? Because you're number one, right? So let's use number one. How about you, ma'am? Why five? You don't know, you just thought of it. Okay, how about you, sir? Why three? You have three children, interesting. This will be chosen by a person wearing a red dress. All right, wearing a red dress. And black shoes. And black shoes. Next. Looking beautiful in her tied up hair. Yes! What? Last. Last. Please read out loud what is written inside the envelope. Take it out, please. Yeah. Please read, read. Tell us what is written there. Uh, this will, will be chosen by a person named Michael from Australia. Yes! Thank you very much!